Hey Mirabels, Mysteria has a tradition where everyone gathers at the Sleeping Dragon Inn on Friday nights. That's tonight and this is your invitation. Meet me at the inn after 6pm tonight. Keep me company and I'll throw in a free drink. Reyna, I'm Mirabels and welcome back to my first playthrough in Fields of Mysteria. Let's harvest our crops. These are turnips. And we also got daffodils. Cool. Now we have to replace those. And if I recall correctly, I need turnips for the museum. Maybe I need other seeds too. I don't think I bought one of each seed in this game. I can now harvest the water chestnuts again. I'm so happy. Now I can make more food items. Oh, what's this place? Rubble blocks what appears to be a cave entrance. Oh, <laughs> I cannot pick exit. Wild berries are everywhere. Okay, let's donate the turnip. One of the turnips. And I can see here that I need other crops here like cabbage, strawberries, cherries, and this must be potatoes, right? Oh, I forgot that we could be bug catching now. There we go! First catch, a grasshopper. I have to be prepared for those. Can I catch that bird? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I doubt, I doubt. Um, she's asking for some blueberries. Raina and Juniper is asking for Lilac. Attractive and extremely talented bathhouse owner seeks a golfer to find and hand over a Lilac. <laughs> well, she has Dozy. We gotta find Lilac for Dozy. Rice, I'm sorry I forgot about your birthday. Farm coming along? Folks help out around here, so don't be shy asking. I'm really, really sorry. Here, have some um, dandelions. This will probably sell for a lot of money. 25? Yeah, we can give it to Rice. Thank you. I think that's a liked item, not a loved one. Mystery prides itself on being welcoming, so don't be shy about saying hello to your neighbors. Everyone's so excited to see someone new around town. Did I not have any tulips? Oh, I don't have any tulips. You're looking for lilacs? I've seen them growing near Hayden's farm, I think. Wait, she knows? <laughs> Hayden's farm is to the west of your farm if you haven't been there yet. She knows that I'm looking for one. I'll be at the inn this evening. Lord Elan's been so excited to play his new game with us. Wait, can I play with them? I'm gonna take my pants. Thank you very much. Let's wear them. <laughs> oh, I was about to wear pants. Hold or I guess uh, put it on my cosmetics. Just smell that fresh morning air. Oh, I have to look at the general store and see if I can buy anything I need. Wait, whoa, strawberry seed. This spring crop can be harvested every three days when it's, it reaches maturity. This is so cool. That's why it's so expensive. Okay, I love that. I think I already planted potatoes. So the only thing that I need to do is to plant cherry saplings. It will take 14 days for a cherry sapling to grow. So maybe I should plant cherry sapling first to ensure that I can complete the spring bundle, <laughs> spring set for this season. Okay, I'm gonna buy this one. Now I have a cherry sapling. <laughs> Aha, there's that fresh face. Hope the town's treating you well. It has been. Oh, Mirabels, we're so thrilled you moved to town. You're already fitting right in. I forgot to cook food. Let's go back to town. Yes, this is my other stop, the inn. Hmm, I have 8-8, eight, eight, so I don't need the soup just yet. For now, I just want to craft as much as I can. I can craft 7 trail mix. Okay, let's do it. Even though it consumes some time. My cooking skill is leveling up fast. Look at that. I'm now level 6. And I got a few trail mix. Let's see where else I will need the mixed berries. Or wild berries for. Hmm. I can use it for jams. Which will need the sugar though. Wild berry scone as well. Which needs milk and flour. I wonder where I can get wheat. Oh, wait, are the wheat the long grass that I find on the east? Oh, I think it might be. Oh, a butterfly. <laughs> Another catch. 
I cannot sell this yet though. I need to give it to the museum, unfortunately. Okay, I'm back here. And, oh my god, I was there to get new seeds, but instead I got one sapling only. I have 19 gold. Okay, so for seedlings, I can plant it on this kind of soil or this kind of soil. Hmm, I don't have a shovel yet. I don't have a shovel yet. Hmm. I wanted to plant the sapling in a tilled area. But since I don't have a shovel yet, I'm just gonna place it right here. Or maybe over here. Okay, off to the side a bit. I'm gonna plant it here beside the statue. Hopefully I don't forget about it. I mean, it's beside a statue that I should always go to. While waiting for Friday nights, let me gather more stone. Oh, there's a bug that appeared. Okay. Redhead worm. More of those worms? So this is the type of worm that appears under the rocks. So oh, it's 620. I still don't have enough rocks though. Oh, but we cannot miss Friday night. Grasshopper. And a snail. <laughs> The insects don't sell for much, but they're fairly easy to catch. Oh, look at that! Everyone's here, just chilling. Okay, hi. Welcome to our inaugural session of Dragons and Drama. Dragons and Drama? I'll be striving to provide a historically accurate experience, but if I sleep on any details, please speak up. I wrote a backstory for my character, Mirabels. She's a druid, and she can talk to flowers, and she loves nature, but I don't get what to do with all these numbers. Follow my lead, Celine. I set all of these useless stats to 1, so my main stat can be 67, which you would think isn't possible for a starter character, but if you look at the rules section 107 paragraph 2, you'll see that. <laughs> Whew. Adeline sure does know her stuff. Look here, Maribels, I'm whittling out some miniatures for the game. This is Celine's druid Daffodilia, and this is Adeline's wizard Moonsilver, and this is Balor's thief, Sticklefritz. I knew Balor would be a thief. Me? I'm Bad Brad, the bearded bard. <laughs> Please call him by his full name. <laughs> Hi, Bad Brad. <sighs> is this what I get for arriving late to the cards table? I have no idea what's going on or why everyone keeps calling me Sticklefritz. <laughs> I love that! And hit me! Let's look at this table. So here is the drinking table, I suppose. Oh, she sounds pretty confident, don't you think, Grace? Wish I could say, I just deal the cards, man. I'm in for 50 more tessery. Oh, gambling table! Ho oh, ho, poker table. That bluff won't work on me. Are you quite certain you don't need any more cards, Nora? Are you sure you don't need any more cards, Errol? Now, now, let's keep it friendly. No need to get worked up. Hey guys, four of a kind is good, right? Or should I hold out for a five of a kind? Guys, Ulrich! Oh my god! <laughs> Gotta love that. Wait, can I join the poker table? Can I join D&D? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's look at them. The oldest table? <laughs> These other folks in their games, I like to really sit with a drink and appreciate it. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is for D&D. &D. This is for poker. And this is for drinking. <laughs> Certainly. Better to turn your senses to one thing and give it the attention it deserves. Isn't that right, young March? What is March doing here? Wait, wait, wait! Mirabels, come here, come here! I'll let you in on a little secret. You're not so bad. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew you liked me. Oh, what was I saying again? I'll remember this even if you won't. Oh my. It seems our young blacksmith is a bit of a lightweight. <laughs> he cannot handle his drinks though. That's because he's drinking the cheap stuff. Just like you, Valen. Having no palate is nothing to be ashamed of. Here, try some of my wine. You'll see. I suppose you've had plenty of time to refine your tastes. But as a doctor, I simply can't recommend drinking at home alone. A girl can't get a little sloppy on a Monday night? This is why you have a reputation for being stiff, Valen. 
I have a reputation? Oh, she seems happy about it. Come here and sit with me, Mirabels. The girls are fighting. What fun. <laughs> oh, March, I, I knew you will warm up to me someday. Would you like to turn in this request? Oh, yeah, okay. You made it. What did I tell you? It's a full house. Why don't you go around and see what everyone's up to? Oh, and here's your free drink. Thank you. I got some mixed fruit juice. Today's flavor is broccoli cheddar soup. Yes, let's take a bowl. It always refills around 20. The owners seem busy. Aelan has been talking about this game of his for weeks. I hope the others are as excited as he is. Sometimes I can't tell if those two are friends or enemies. I suppose it isn't too important as long as they can share a drink. Haha, <laughs> yes, that's true. I think uh, he's talking about Valen and Juniper. I see the kids up here. Hello. Mirabels, don't let anyone see you. The coast is clear. Now, before we tell you anything, you have to pinky swear you won't tell anyone. Because we're planning a heist. These kids. Look is the brains. Del is the brawn. I'm the face. And you're the courier, Mirabels. And our target is... Mr. Balor. His secrets, more precisely. Why does he always keep his door locked? Is it because we keep trying to go in there uninvited? We're going to find out. Meet us here next week, Mirabels. <laughs> they're, plan they're planning a heist. <laughs> okay, so only Balor's room seems to be locked. Let's see. I can't even tell who's... Oh, this is Maple's room. How about this room? This is Reina. Yeah, I kind of knew this was Reina because of the cooking pot. Trayon and paper. Small terrarium. Cute bugs living inside. Oh, this is definitely looks. And this is Hemlocks. Wait, where is Balor's room then? Oh, there are other rooms over here. I think this is Balor's room. Hastily wiped dishes, pick locks, sealed crates and stuff. Yeah, this might be Balor's room. Wait, I didn't even need to join our heist. I could just go in his room, kids. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> That's Balor's room. <laughs> okay, let's go home because as much fun as we are having on the Friday night at the inn, we cannot join any activities and we are wasting time. Well, I won't consider it a waste. I, I think that was a fun little activity and very interactive. Though I wish I could I could have joined some kind of mini game. It's nice to see that folks interacting with each other though. Okay, it's 11:10 p.m. I still have time and energy, so we're gonna spend that gathering more stones. I can go to the museum tomorrow. I can stay up until 2 a.m. if I recall correctly. So it's fine. I'll just keep collecting stones until I run out of energy, even though I probably have enough by now for the bridge. Never hurts to get extra because I will need it for recipes, I suppose. Oh, no more energy. Okay, so if I run out of energy, do I just stop using? Ah, yes. I just stop using tools. I don't pass out or anything. That's good. And it's 1.30am. Time for bed. Oh, I did not sell anything that day. <laughs> I got a few renown though. I doubt that I would rank up today. Yep. Now it's spring 6. Yes, there are 28 days in spring. I I'm, I'm so sad that I missed his birthday, but March's birthday is still coming up. That's cool. Oh, the mines are gonna be reopened! Mirabels, I need your help with something important. Please meet myself and curator Errol at the museum west of town to discuss the reopening of the mines. Ailand. Up until now, I haven't needed to refill my watering can, so I don't think I need that. Also, I have 27 essence. Let's use the shrine for something. I wanted this restorative cooking, so let's learn the skill. And I have a lot in my pockets. I don't want to go to the mines like that. I'm gonna leave some of it over here. Like my watering can. 
what will I not need? <laughs> um, I guess the stone, the fiber, the wood, all the other ones I can either donate to the museum or sell. Will I need my axe there? Probably not. Okay. First up is the museum. Oh, Aiden is here. I didn't know he wanted me to go to the museum. <laughs> Mirabels, thank you for joining us. I hope you haven't wrote Mirabels into your schemes, Aeland. Ooh, I do love a good scheme. Then <laughs> you love this. I believe the time has come to discuss reopening the mines. Aeland, with all due respect, I believe we should be focusing on the museum. We don't have the workforce to reopen the mines in a commercial capacity. Whereas the museum is drawing interest from as far as the capital already. I believe it is the surest way to raise mysterious renown, which should be our top priority. We are in agreement that the museum should be our focus, Errol. However, with the arrival of Mirabels, I believe we now have the perfect person to begin exploring the mines. Okay, just dump all the work on me. Shipments of ore would be invaluable to the town, and there are surely incredible artifacts just waiting to be discovered in the depths. Okay, so weren't the mines condemned after the earthquake? Haha, <laughs> they sure were! <laughs> that sounds reassuring, Aeland. <laughs> this is why Errol is concerned. <laughs> no rewards without risks, eh? Errol used to work in the mines, he knows the dangers. While I appreciate the enthusiasm, I simply can't approve of a reopening at this time. Structural damage, or seam slippage, the elevator has stopped working, and I've been hearing strange sounds from below. Now that's interesting. Surely you're not keeping the mind shut over some spooky noises, Errol. Uh, I would be happy to reconvene on the matter when Mysterious Town rank has reached at least Stone Star rank, if that would satisfy you too. I can see there's no budging you, Errol. Well, at least we have a goal in sight, Mirabels. I was so excited! Well, how can I help? I, I thought today would be the day. Turning in the items for museum sets, completing requests, and shipping items are all ways that you can help to raise mysterious renown. Let's get to it. The mines will be reopened in no time. I'm glad to see you so enthused, Aeland. I got scammed, y'all. I got scammed. Well, they did say it was just to discuss the state of the mines, not to go to the mines. I scammed myself. Oh well. Well, since we're here, let's donate all the items we can. Grass insect sad and spring insect sad. I really am quite sad though. Let's get another batch of the forageables up here. I, I need a snow anemone. Where did I get that before? At the western ruins? Yes, okay. Oh, there are o there's also more over here. Nylac, wild berries, dandelions. Oh, and this artifact site. I think I can use my pickaxe here. <gasps> there we go! A new artifact you do not recognize. Use it to identify what it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's identify it. I can identify it myself. We got ancient gold coin, an uncommon artifact etched with the outline of the witch queen on one side and a magnificent tower on the other side. Huh. That's cool. And we can donate that to the museum. This is the first artifact, yes, ancient artifact set. A collection of artifacts from the age of the witches, witch queen's reign. I'm curious about the lore of the witch queen now. What happened to Mysteria from that time? Before I go back to town, let me go back to my farm because I think I have enough stones to complete the bridge. Okay, we might not be going to the mines, but at least we are completing the bridge now. Let me just... Oh, I need lilac, so let's not sell those. I also need snowdrop anemone. Okay, we can sell the bugs for now. I should probably start keeping some of the flowers in my pockets. But I'm gonna sell the turnips. Okay, I'm gonna sell all of this and I'm gonna start keeping some on my storage chest. Let's not forget the stone for the bridge. 
And I should take a look at the new requests today. Request for berries. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I got loads of those. Now I feel like I'm going back and forth. <laughs> because I love the berries at home. So we need to complete quests with Errol, Juniper, and who's the other one? Elsie. Here's my problem again. I don't know where Elsie is. Oh, this one. Okay. I also don't know where Juniper is. I thought Juniper would be at her house. Is this Juniper or Valor? Wait, there's someone over here that has purple hair. Oh, it's Valor. Valor is the one at the inn. So Juniper must be at uh, the, the east side of town. First, let's go to Errol. Okay, let's turn in the quest. Ah, uh, my snack. I thank you for your consideration. Please accept this small token of gratitude. 40 Tessery. I could have sold that just for 5 Tessery, so that's a huge increase in profit. Oh, a ladybug. And let's give the anemone. Oh my, Mirabels. Thank you for going out of your way to deliver the snowdrop anemone I requested. It's beautiful. I was thinking of growing some myself, but I simply haven't found the time. I think these seeds are better off with you. Enjoy. Thank you. And the last quest for completion is with Juniper, who is supposed to be on the right side. Is she still here? Yep. She should still be here. Somewhere. Wait, where? Oh, she's going to the bridge. Okay. Well, I'm going there. Where is she? Wait, what? Finally, I see her. <laughs> here. Well, well, Adeline's little request board scheme actually works. I'm impressed. Now follow me. Wait, 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 wait. I was there for the bridge. Ah, uh, now I got here. <laughs> Not the eyebrow raising. What are you little gremlins doing here? We're following that smell. That super gross smell. If I knew bats could make you smell like this, I wouldn't try to avoid them. It's like stink armor. What's in the cauldron isn't for the bad, it's for a health tonic. With one sip, you'll be instantly refreshed. No one is going to drink that if it tastes as bad as it smells. Ah, uh, but I have yet to add the final ingredient. Mirabels, if you would. Lilac is added, some magic is added. There we are, that unfortunate smell has cleared right up. Don't you agree? Smells like... Fresh fertilizer. An obvious improvement. Now, who to test it on? Oh. Oh, who? <laughs> Del volunteered. While I admire your enthusiasm, Del, I think we should reward the intrepid adventurer who retrieved the final ingredient. Aww. Wait, no. Did I just swallow the potion? Oh, no. I'm gonna pass out. Cool. Hmm. Very interesting. The lightlet appears to have inverted the potion's intended effect. Oh no. Maribel's doesn't look too good. We should go get Dr. Valen. Ah, uh, there's no need to get that woman involved. Here now, Maribel's. Why don't you toddle off to the bat? It's on me. <laughs> I knew it. Never trust Juniper. Oh my god. Why did I willingly drink that potion? Okay, using the bath refilled all my stamina and health. See kids, right as rain. And to make sure there's no lingering effects, your next five bathhouse visits are free, Myra Belts. Okay, that's nice, actually. Who would ever want to take that many butts? Yuck! <laughs> Thank you again for your assistance, Myra Bells. I'll be sure to call you on you again in the future. Now, why don't you all scoot out of here? I need to do a post experiment right up. Are you sure? We can help you come up with lots of ways to describe how bad it smells. <laughs> what garbage? Dog burps. <laughs> Dog burps? <laughs> okay, now we are back here. Let's go all the way to the right side again for the bridge. Alrighty. Wait, do I need to wait? I need to talk to Adeline for that. And I have a request for blueberries. I know where to get those. I just need to go down here. 
after getting distracted by lots of bugs. I hope there's already new harvest. Yes, okay. Now we can also complete Reina's quest. It's very helpful to have extra forageables. I keep selling mine because I need to plant more seeds or I feel like I need to plant more seeds. But it's always good to have extra. Can I catch that? I want to catch that. Hmm. But I doubt that I will be able to use my net here. Let's just dive. Oh, treasure. I got treasure. Okay, I cannot use my bug net for that. I'd have to wait for it. And can I gather wheat from the grass? No, I can't. Okay, that's kind of sad. So it seems like almost everyone is at the inn at night. So it's quite easy to locate them. I have repaired the bridge. I've gathered what we need to repair the bridge, Adeline. That's great news. Come on, let's go tell everyone. Oh, I'm gonna repair the bridge at night. <laughs> it's time. Let's get this bridge repaired. Nice work, Maribels. Now it's my turn. Just let us know how we can help, guys. Wait, you repaired it right away. Good job. Are we done, Riz? Feels like we're done. We sure are. This bridge is going to last a long, long time. Great job, everyone. I let the Saturday market merchants know that the bridge is repaired. Let me help you, Adeline. Together, I'm sure we can guarantee that Saturday will be market day in Mysteria again. Cheers to that. And it happened before my first Saturday. Oh, no, 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 no. Aw, man. Today is Saturday already. I should have completed the quest earlier in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to wait until next week for the Saturday market event. Welp. I feel like these other bushes will have some forageables in other seasons. For now, I'm getting wild berries. Maybe in other seasons, I'll get something else. I still have a quest with Reina. I guess back to the inn again. <laughs> I've been there before. Are they still there? It's already 10 p.m. Oh, they all stay up late, I guess. Ooh, are these the blueberries I requested? Thank you. This will make some great blueberry jam. Here's my recipe. Thank you. Let's learn the recipe. Oh, it's always so fun having new people in town. We used to have a much livelier town back before the earthquake. I hope you're the first of many. Now we learned how to craft a blueberry jam. We need blueberries and flour. Let's also open this chest. Huh, I got soy sauce. Four soy sauce. Cool. Let's plant the snowdrop anemone and make sure that it's all watered. It's 11.10 p.m. and I have a full stamina for some reason. Hmm. Let us spend it clearing the farm a little bit more. I'm getting some grass seed and hay. Oh, so I can always plant more grass in case I need more for animals in the future. Wait, swinging my sword doesn't use up energy. Okay, that was a waste of time. Let us focus on chopping down trees then. I will just leave the wood here. From my experience, they don't despawn. So I can get them all tomorrow. I'm rushing. I still have some stamina left and it's already 1.50. You know what? Uh, let's go to bed. I don't want to pass out. <laughs> oh no, I passed out! I thought I had time. Well, we did a lot of quests today, so I earned 138 renown in total. I also got 215 gold, but I might be build. Now we are on level 8. Never mind, level 9. Level 10. Oh, <laughs> we're now town ranked stone. Okay, so we can now unlock the mines after all. Oh, I'm kind of stressed out. I overslept, so it's 10 a.m. And I have some stamina and health penalty. So that's the penalty for passing out, eh? At least now we know. Okay, I'm going to sell some of my items so that I can pick up the wood that I left last night. And it is storming today. Oh, but I can harvest the tulips. I need to plant more. We got a lot of mail. 
Mirabells, in regards to the mines, Aelan has informed me that Mistress rank has been raised to Stone Star and I have agreed to meet with him to further discuss the mines. Please meet us at the mines entrance to west of town! Okay, finally! Maribels, we received your shipment of turnips this morning from Balor. You're doing great work over there. I've attached my recipe for sliced turnips. I thought you might want to try it out. Oh, cool, but I don't have any more turnips now. <laughs> oh, man. I just sold it all off. I should plant new ones. Maribels, those he absolutely insisted that I send you an extra token of apology for nearly knocking you out with my experimental potion yesterday. Oh, I knew it. Dozy. Dozy will make us like Juniper. Here's a magical object that you might find useful if you can figure out what it does. <laughs> weather crystal ball. Okay, we should be able to tell the weather the next day. <laughs> That's kinda cool though. And last meal, Mirabelle's congratulations. Mistria has reached the Stone Star Town Rag. We couldn't have done it without your help. Mistria is sure to make a full recovery with your continued assistance. Please accept this token of thanks, Adeline. Copper ingot. Alright. Lots of advancements today. Okay, now we know to how to make sliced turnips. I'm going to keep the soy sauce and... Where's the weather crystal ball? I don't know where it went. Huh. Okay, let's keep the materials here as well. So that we'll have some extra slots in our pockets. Oh, I can have presets for my character customization. Oh, I did not take the weather crystal ball, that's why. I was looking for it. So this item is a furniture. Let's uh, put this on top of my table. An image forms in the crystal ball. Tomorrow's weather will be breezy with cherry blossoms in the air. Okay, so we don't have television here. We have crystal balls instead, that's way better. Oh, this is a new kind of grasshopper. It's a petal hopper. <laughs> Before going to Arrow, I would want to plant more seeds because I might forget that. I can also do another request. This time, Hemlock is asking for Caterpillar. Oh, it's for Luke. Luke's been asking me to get a friend for his Caterpillar, but I'm not sure where to get one. <laughs> okay, I got you. We have lots of rewards that I haven't been claiming. Let's take a look. So we have some Tesserae. Ooh, 250 now. Okay, we can unlock a cosmetic. And what the heck is this? Wait, I have to look at the description. This potion is famous for its energy restoration properties. Some even claim it increases your energy permanently. I will save that for when I have low energy. Let's not drink it right away we do need to buy new seeds and i'm gonna buy two strawberries i cannot afford anymore unfortunately and then three turnips you know what let's make it four four turnips so increasing the town rank will increase your stamina bar permanently that's cool or maybe just for that particular rank maybe it's different every time we'll have to see I'm gonna plant the strawberries right here and the turnip seeds. I wanna talk to the dragon just because. You've helped to repair the bridge into town? Well done, Mirabels. I'm sure the other villagers appreciate your efforts. That's all? <laughs> I kinda want to save up for this next. A day well spent. Going to bed with zero stamina gives a stamina boost the next day. I think I'm gonna save up for that. I have a feeling that I really will be able to get into the mines today, so let's clear up my inventory a little bit. It's 3 p.m. already though. Wait, where is the mine entrance? I thought it would be over there. Maybe it's the one over here? Oh yes. Mirabells, what a joyous day. Mistress Town Rank Improvement shows that we are on the right track. Why? Just think. If we leave the mines closed, we can continue to focus our efforts on other town initiatives. <laughs> After all, we both know the town's growth will not continue without a reliable source of stone and ore. New artifacts for the museum would be a boon too. I can see there's no dissuading you two. Alright, alright. We shall proceed with the reopening. Be careful, Mirabels. The earthquake has revealed K 
cave passages beneath the mines that are yet unexplored. I trust you're ready to handle whatever lies below. Keep your wits about you. I got this. For Mistria. Good luck. I will do what I can to assist the both of you with your finds at the museum. With the main shaft collapsed, you'll need to take the ladder down to start your descent. The elevator isn't working, but Errol believes that if you can rediscover the elevator platforms further down, that it can be restarted. Incredible! Another dragon statue? This wasn't here before the earthquake. Well, it looks like the statue on my farm. It seems the archaeologist bug has beat you too. I need to confer with Errol and begin a thorough search of the mine's history. It's hard to believe that there's no record of this statue. Yeah, it's just right at the entrance. I hate to cut and run so soon, but this is of immense archaeological importance. Will you be alright on your own? Ha! I got this. Best of luck, we're all looking forward to your findings. Yep, just leave me all alone here. <laughs> now we have unlocked the mines. Let's go. The crumbling statue emanates a faint presence. It seems that you can offer essence here despite the statue's condition. Oh, but it's for a different one. It's for combat. Jumping attack? Jumping and then attacking mid-air will damage enemies in a small radius? I want that. Biome unique armor and weapons will sometimes drop from treasure chests. Um, well, let's look at the other ones. Or regional. <laughs> Earthbreaker, treasure hunter. What do I want though? I want the jump attack. Is this a waste of my renown? You know what? It's it's fine. It's gonna be fun. Jump attack. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are now down the mines. Exploring the mines is a great way to find new materials, forage fish, insects, and even treasure. Break rocks on each floor to find a ladder, allowing you to progress further downward. Don't forget that you can jump and swim as you explore. Every five floors, you will unlock an elevator platform, allowing you to travel quickly from the mines entry. Proceed with care. Magic seeping into this world has turned inanimate objects into monsters. Upgrading your sword and armor will aid you as you progress. The entry statue can also be used to purchase helpful mining and combat skill perks with collected essence. No, I'm not here to exit the mines. I just got here. Okay, I'm gonna rearrange my inventory a little bit. Let's put my sword and pickaxe together. And I'm going to put a food item right beside those. I guess this is the part where I gather more stones than I need. Oh, there are stones that break in one hit. Maybe I should target those first. And we cannot get rid of those. Oh, the ladder did not appear. Let's get to the sturdier stones. There we go. One ladder. I wonder if the ladder only appears on those stones. We will see. We will see. And I can immediately gather copper ore. Nice. Oh, an enemy! What is this? A peat? Brick of compressed organic matter. Alright. Okay, okay. Time to use my skill. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think I think this is a good skill. Because I'm able to stun that enemy even if they're on a shield mode. Likely poisonous. Ooh. It's just likely though it's not 100% poisonous. A wild mushroom with a great flavor and texture. Commonly used as a cooking ingredient. I mean, this seems safer to eat. <laughs> okay, this one has electricity. I'm not sure I should be messing with that. Especially now that I just jumped into water. Oh, the enemy made the stairs appear. But I want to get the copper here first. I think there's another one over here. Is this copper? Oh yes, it is still copper ore. Alright, level 3. We're breezing through this. Oops! Wait, is using my special skill consume stamina? Does it? No, I don't think so. Yep. The enemies are really cute though. Oh, there are some digging spots. Okay, first uh, there were mushrooms, then there were lanterns, and now we have stone enemies. I do need to eat, I think. I'm gonna start eating some. 
I am already level 3 though. Just a little more to level 5. But it's getting late. But we're halfway there. More than halfway. Okay. And we're level 4. Just one more. Hmm. I don't have any more energy. Let's eat. You know what? Let's drink this. What is this though? A plant that turned into a monster? Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh, a perfect copper ore. That's an artifact. Sap. Saplings. Oh, it's a sapling that turned into a monster. And I can get new cre uh, new insects here. Wait, it says it's rare. Rare upper mines insect. Their sounds are kind of catchy. Ooh. I cannot hear if the cricket made any sound, unfortunately. Because I'm playing without any music on. Oh, I got rubies. I'm playing without any music on. So that I can edit out the videos without the music being cut off all the time. So I'm playing this just with sounds on. Ambient sounds and the likes. But for music, I just add it after I edit the entire video. I've played the demo before though and the music in this game is amazing. And I'm using the in-game music as well for my videos but it's not real time. Anyway, we got monster powder. And I'm gonna gather more rubies before going down. I think I see a chest. Okay, let's look at the chest first. Oh, lots of copper ores. And we got, what is that? Boots? I don't know if I can get rid of anything though. What will I get rid of for the boots? One of my ladybugs? Oh, I need that for the museum. I should have gone to the museum. I'll just get rid of wood. I don't know how to get sap yet. So, let's get rid of wood. For the miner's boots. I'm gonna ignore the coppers because it's getting late. Let's just unlock the elevator and get out of here because there are some lantern enemies once again. I don't want to deal with those right now. Let's run. I wonder if the museum is still open. Oh, it is. Okay. So far, I have not seen anything that does not allow me to go there late at night. We are able to donate seven items. Okay, metals of mystery set, spring insect set, dig the site material set, and upper mines forage set. Grass insect set as well. And upper mines insect set. That's a lot. Our town's renown should increase now. I haven't found any caterpillar for our hemlock today. Maybe those don't appear during rainy days. I know I already found some before. Let's unlock the miner's boots cosmetic. Maybe I can have different outfits for different activities. That would be cool. Okay, let's head to bed. I don't want to pass out again. <laughs> Wait, that's only 57 right now? I feel like I've done so much that day because of the donations, but it's only 5 renown for, per donation compared to completed quest, which is 20 renown. Okay. And we reached level 11. Oh, time is flying by quickly. That's the end of our first week in Mystria. Oh, I'm enjoying this game a lot. <laughs> Do let me know what you think about the game so far. For now, I'll end the episode here and I'll see you all next time. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. See ya!